This time we have gone to Southwest WA for a weekend adventure. The camping was nice, and we took on the potentially most challenging technical off-road tracks in WA. G'day! Welcome to another episode of 4x4 Adventure WA. This time uh, we've taken an adventure to uh, to the southwest. So we're here to um, camp overnight. We're going to attempt some really really hard tracks, uh, challenging tracks, and um, it should be a really challenging trip. So guys, we are about to enter the campsite. Just finished registration. Um, this is more like a glamping, so not a proper camping. But we'll pretend to camp uh, at a at a you know well established campsite. Um, you know, it's just a little bit hard to to do some proper camping around Perth area because. Um, uh, well, places gets closed uh, when when places get trashed. Um, but anyway, we should head into the campsite now. Right, this is it. So we're about to enter the campsite. This is called Lockbrook Campground. One at a time. So here we go. We're entering the campsite. Uh, it is a little bit wet today and um, it doesn't mean that you can't go camping and obviously that's because the, the weather in Australia or in WA is actually very unpredictable so you, you won't you don't know what is going to happen next it can be raining heavily and then all of a sudden the Sun comes up so um, camping is, is good whenever you like now, forgot to introduce uh, that is Justin uh, Matt from Albany Four Wheel Drive Club. So he's got a camper trailer this time. So having an official sort of campsite like this is very friendly for a camper trailer. Um, and that is what I'm thinking about building one eventually. Hey. So we arrived at the campsite a little bit late. We've decided to quickly set up camp and uh, chill out for the whole evening. In the same time, we prepare for the hectic day tomorrow. So today we are going to hit some hard tracks. Um, apparently there are some really uh, steep hill climbs in Harvey Dam and maybe we'll have a look at Brunswick uh, in the next day. So stay tuned, this is going to be epic and, uh, and uh, very slippery. So guys, here it is, Harvey Dam. Uh, so we're about to enter these tracks, the track condition is uh, pretty wet so I'm, I'm definitely sure that the the tracks are going to be very slippery and the hill climbs are going to be very challenging inside so someone was too excited and attempting a climb and i think he's actually making it very nicely very slippery but Right, roll condition, very slippery, and uh, quite a fair bit of skills is needed. And I think I'm going to. Oh, oh, oh first casualty. <laughs> right. Oh dear. I got through that first puddle and then bottomed out on the, the next one. one. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Oh dear, that is pretty gnarly. I reckon if, you, if I got over it, I would have been right, I reckon. Pretty gnarly. Yeah, I reckon it would have... Out there, I will probably be bottom out too. 
But I'll give it a go, you know what? the rock step. Here, back to the campsite. After the hectic day in Harvey Dam, we were so keen to sit next to the campfire uh, for a barbecue. Now, to set up a fire in such wet weather is very challenging, uh, and I found the best use of uh, supermarket cardboard is definitely a good item to carry for camping, I tell ya. Welcome to Adventure Chef. <laughs> Um, so this time we are in uh, Lockbrook Dam, uh, trying to make a family uh, family meal dinner. Uh, so we thought about this. Um, we thought of making some uh, kebab with skewers, and uh, it's very nice to make, very easy to make as well. So basically, they're, they're very simple ingredients uh, from local supermarket. Um, I'm not going to name it. You probably know what that is anyway. So all of them has been washed. So now we are just about to do the cutting. What we have to do the next step is to put all the bits and pieces onto the skewer. So be careful of your fingers because they are really sharp, obviously. Now, so basically you know how, well, you know how it works, you put it on. Alright, check this out. This is basically um, almost ready for barbecue. And all you need to do is to put some salt and pepper and a good old squirt of sauce. Um, so, as you can see, it doesn't really matter how you, uh, what combination it is. Uh, well, you can go for a meat lover, quite a few meats, or you can go for a mushroom lover like that. Um, just any combination, as you can see, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, yeah. 
So, barbecue uh, time. Here we go. That's a uh, kebab. Mommy, I only like the meat. It's beautiful from the barbecue fire. Last day at a campsite, Lock Rock Camp. Oh, in the previous day, we didn't have, didn't quite have a chance to capture this spectacular view. Uh, only the last day, we had such a beautiful weather. Morning, guys. Last day at Lock Brook campsite. Um, <clears throat> it is a beautiful day today. The night was good. Uh, unfortunately, this will be our last day in this campsite. Um, so what we are going to do today, we will be exploring the... Uh, <laughs> that was a step there. <laughs> we'll be exploring this jun uh, Bun Brunswick Junction uh, challenging track. So hopefully um, the track is better than yesterday in Harvey Dam. So the, the, well, I had a very bad experience in Harvey Dam tracks. Uh, because it was a very sketchy drive yesterday um, spent a good uh, one and a half hours winching a very steep hill almost rolled the vehicle as well didn't quite capture the footage but hopefully we can have a bit of reclaim of the failure from yesterday So that's how we left Harvey. I can't forget how beautiful Harvey Dam is. The spectacular view in there is just incredible. Unfortunately, you're not supposed to camp in Harvey Dam, otherwise it would make a really really nice camp spot. Uh, this is called Brunswick Junction. Um, so there is basically uh, a very famous lock river crossing uh, just about this river and basically this is the start of the challenging track. So after this lock river crossing it uh, quickly turns into a pretty uh, steep uh, hill climb and that basically uh, concludes the start of the track. Um, so this campground is really really nice. I can't believe how clean it is. Uh, and there are three natural three, uh, natural chairs in here so people are quite artistic sometimes um, and I can't believe how clean this is this is worth the credit really given that this is a really really um, I have to say popular spot this is just beautiful Right hand down, further, slowly, straight, 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 holy crap, left hand down, oh, yeah, straight, left, left, left hand, left hand, yeah, you're good, you're good, just, you're good. You're good, you're good, very good.
You're good. All right, Justin's going to attempt this slippery hill climb after the river crossing. Uh, so, for this hill climb, it requires the moisture from the river. It will make it extra uh, difficult, slippery. See how it goes. Left. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. What? Keep going, keep going. See if you can drive. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Oh, bottom out. The last bit. You need to go straight. Oh. <clears throat> Oh good. Be keep going. Yeah, sir. Tow ah. Now guys, that concludes the end of the trip. Uh, I have to admit that our cars are not quite up to the task, but trust me, I promise, 
we will be back in next winter. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and also uh, press the notify bell so you won't miss any of my contents. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at 4x4AdventureWA. I'll see you there. If you have any suggestion to the video, please comment down below.